the move or rotate tool moves or rotates items. To move or rotate items, go to transform and then select move or rotate. Alternatively, you can automatically activate the move or rotate tool using the adaptive menu. Simply select an entire body to activate the move or rotate tool. When the tool is active, the gizmo appears, which gives you directional control for moving and rotating. Drag the gizmo arrows or tiles dynamically to specify a new location. Gizmo arrows provide linear and rotational controls when dragged. A dimension label appears next to a selected gizmo arrow to display the current value for the movement. You can enter values in the dimension label on a keyboard or the numpad. To move or rotate a face or edge of a body, select the face or edge and then drag the arrows dynamically. Drag the tiles in the gizmo center to move your bodies along the planes. When you access the Move or Rotate tool from the Transform menu, you can find the option to turn on Auto Orientation. Turning on Auto Orientation controls whether or not the gizmo lines with other geometry when moving the gizmo center. You can move the gizmo center to define a new center for any movement, giving you more control if you need to reorient the gizmo. The gizmo center snaps to existing geometry in the modeling space, such as faces, edges, sketch regions, axes, and construction geometry. To move or rotate a copy, select the copy badge and then move or rotate the gizmo, or enter a value in the numpad. To complete the move or rotate tool, select Done. To view or refine history parameters for the move or rotate tool, find the specific step for your movement or rotation action and open the expandable card. From there, you can update the parameters for start center, target bodies, target faces, or target edges. To choose a different start center for the body you're moving or rotating, click or tap, edit or select. Adjust the gizmo center to where you want it to start and then select Done to finish. To choose a different body, face, or edge to move or rotate, click or tap, edit, or select beside target bodies, target faces, or target edges. Select a different body, face, or edge, and then select Done to finish. To keep a copy of your original item, turn on Copy.